Hey guys, Mama Snark here. So it is August 29th. It's about 8.30 in the morning right now. Hurricane Ida is predicted to make landfall around like noon and then it's supposed to hit our area around like 7 p.m. So I am a hot sweaty mess because hubby and I have been running around just kind of doing the finishing touches on the prepping that we didn't get to last night. So I will show you kind of what it takes to hurricane prep um, to get ready. We grew up in South Louisiana, so this is just par for the course. Um, hopefully things don't get too bad. Fingers crossed, because we chose not to evacuate and we decided to stay. We're a little bit more inland, we're not on the coast, so hopefully we won't have flooding because we flooded in 2016 and the great Louisiana flood and I can't go through that again. So. Hope for the best. I'll show you everything that we did to kind of prep outside. So it's currently raining a little bit. This is all the prep work we did for outside the house. Um, the gazebo, we actually, let's see, where's my finger? There it is. We anchored all of the posts to into the concrete last year before hurricane season. So the gazebo's anchored. Um, I mean, you know, the top's bolted on as much as it's going to be bolted on, but the pool there's nothing we can do about <laughs> our barbecue pit usually stays right there we got that inside so the grill is currently in the garage and if we need it we can pull it out to cook on the giant roller coaster i just flipped it on its side and brought the little car inside because i mean we can't fit that in our garage so we don't know what else to do with it swing sets same way it's just existing these we have upside down so <laughs> these have lived on either side of the pool pump this summer to keep the like the pump and the hoses away from the Hux Farna lawnmower so it didn't like try to suck those up so those have lived there so the undersides are like disgusting but we have those in case we need to pull them inside and fill them with ice and put all the contents of our fridge in it if we lose power which we probably will um, the Hux Farna that lives there we have in the garage the trampoline we're gonna try to go throw in the garage and if we can't find a place for it we're just gonna like kind of tear the netting off and tear the poles down and throw a sandbag on it and hope for the best so that we don't have fly flying projectiles so under here let me move under the gazebo <laughs> so I'm not in the drizzle so this brown deck box usually lives right here we shove that under that one lives there it's super heavy it's got like weights and stuff in it um, this car we can't fit through the house to get into the garage we might try to throw it over the fence here and put it in the garage now that it's not raining quite so profusely the couch that lives here under the gazebo which i need to bring that box in um we just kind of took all the cushions off and put those inside and then got this on its side here the soft parts framing the window and then this deck box has all of the pool supplies in it and shove that against it so hopefully we don't have flying projectiles so we're gonna do the last few um things that we can try to do i'll show you <laughs> what our garage looks like because it has all the contents of our outside stuff and then we're gonna get our suv pulled into the garage and get the cargo basket on it and get that kind of ready to go in case we have to throw a suitcase on it and get out of town in case flooding is a possibility or so fingers crossed hi honey so this is what our garage currently looks like. We were lucky enough to score two cases of bottled water. Um, those need to go in the Tahoe when we get that pulled in. We've got bikes and patio chairs up on the walls. That is the cargo basket that's gonna go on the Tahoe and we'll just have it folded up. Our golf clubs just live there normally. So <laughs> we've got propane tanks, gas tanks, the one that we could fit through the house to get in the garage. Underneath the sofa cover, I don't even know what this is, stuff. I think it's like the pressure washer and the lawnmower and a uh, canopy tent. Um, these are front porch chairs and table, ladder, delivery mailbox that's usually on the front porch. We've got their little water table. I've got all of our strollers folded up. That's our double stroller that lives in here. The double bob, my jogging stroller is usually open. So we went ahead and folded that and shoved that out of the way. Our little wagon is there. We brought the Hux Varna in, brought the grill. So the grill we kind of put closer to the front so that we can just 
get that through the door if we need to. Just pull the Tahoe out a little bit and get that through the door. Uh, the picnic table that Toot Toot built the kids, we brought that inside because we don't want it to be a flying projectile and we don't want it to get damaged. And then this is our outdoor TV. You can see from the bird poop because birds hang out in our gazebo. <laughs> so we brought that in, got that sandwiched, like canopy tents. These are all of the couch cushions and my husband's super messy toolbox area workshop. So we're working on currently getting the last minute like batteries charged, camping fans charged, camping lights charged. Um, things get really bad tonight. Like I said, it's supposed to hit us around 7 p.m. We plan on doing like blow up mattress in the closet and we'll shove everything out of our master closet just kind of into the bathroom and <sighs> sleep in the closet with the kids if it gets horrendous because that's the like innermost part of our house that doesn't have any kind of windows. It's has no exterior walls around it. So fingers crossed it doesn't get that bad. Hopefully it moves through quickly and it doesn't linger because when it lingers is when you have the issues. So huge part of hurricane prep is you want to have like canned goods and things that you can, you know, eat on, heat up on the grill, not have to heat up at all. And then the number one is, well, hubby dipped into his yesterday, but you want to be well stocked. And well stocked. <laughs> Hubby thought this was fitting. So we're well stocked on drinks and mixers because when things hit the fan and you lose electricity for a week at a time, it's not a whole lot to do. So we are, like I said, charging batteries, getting the kids' tablets charged. I'm going to get my laptop fully charged and download like some Disney Plus movies and shows on that. Make sure you have plenty of activities for the little ones if you have little ones because a week without electricity is not going to be fun. So literally seconds after I just filmed the outside area, it's horrendously raining again. Hopefully it stops again soon so we can get that trampoline into the garage because mm, it's like 8.30 now. It's like right at 8.29. So this is what it currently looks like. It hasn't even made landfall yet. So it is about 10.15 right now. As you can see, the rain has stopped. The sun has come out to play. So the clouds, not too bad. The tree's not blowing too hard yet. It's starting to get a little bit windier, but we've still got a little while before the storm actually hits us so yeah this is what hurricanes do it you get the outer bands and it kind of rains for a little bit and then the sun comes out and everything stops and then eventually the trees are gonna start blowing like crazy so this tree is the only one that's kind of like directly in the path of our house but even if it falls all the way it shouldn't reach all the way to our house so another tip for hurricane prep in case things go south and we've got to get out of town quickly, I've got bags packed already. So we're supposed to go to my in-laws house, my husband's parents' house in around Houston, Texas area next weekend for the long Labor Day weekend. So I just went ahead and packed early. So me, hubby, and both kids are packed in this giant suitcase here. And then a smaller little tote that has some odds and ends. And then this tote has all of my camera gear in it because I take my kids portraits and we vlog and whatnot so in case things go bad we've got these packed hubby is going ahead and getting the car packed now and we're just going to throw everything in there in case like i said things turn for the worse we've got everything ready to go so that we can just get out of town while we have a little break in the rain i'm taking this one for a little walk down the block so we can burn out some energy because she keeps getting into everything and she's bored and they were stuck inside all day yesterday. So this way, baby, quick little walk down the block. So clouds are starting to move in. Starting to look pretty crazy out. That's what the clouds are looking like. Right now it is, what time is it? Uh, motion on the back door, it was me. It's 12.30 PM. Wind's starting to pick up a little bit more. You can see the trees and then the swing on the swing that the little baby seat has been rocking back and forth. 
so things are just starting to kind of get pretty windy now now it's just a waiting game all right oh I don't even have my watch on it is like 3 30 ish and it is starting to kind of rain just a little bit not too bad but winds are starting to kind of pick up a little bit you can see from the tree can't really see the clouds the clouds are just like out now I'm trying to convince the girls to go potty one more last time before it gets real uh-uh go pee go pee this one does not like bad weather Saki, go pee go pee lily go on beanses go potty she does not want to Saki dog go pee wind starting to kick up Mom. hi baby Hi, mommy. Oh, thank you. I got a naked cupcake. Mmm. Thank you. Yeah. So we're making one last meal before we lose power. Hubby decided to cut his hair on his own. I guess he got bored before we even lost power. We all deal with stress differently. <laughs> so now we are making a pizza. That'll be the last thing we make before we lose power, and hopefully we don't lose power before it is finished cooking. So, that's where we're at, we're letting Man Cub get his weird YouTube video TV fix in before he no longer has TV. Okay, baby. All right, so we're about to make some homemade pizzas before power goes out and we have nothing left. the kids play before it gets bad. Ah, uh -uh, get back under there. Don't get in the rain. Run, run. First piece is out. It is time to start this. Beans is eaten. Meanwhile, my children Y'all having fun? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Getting some energy out? Careful, uh, careful. That's fun. Mine. Is that fun? Be careful, careful. So we're hanging out before the storm hits. Watching Twister. Because of course I am. Kids are just playing in a box. <laughs> They've been in this thing for like 20 minutes now. The kids are playing and we're trying to hide our hurricane snacks from them. So you want to know what life with toddlers is like? Came in here. She managed to get the cap off of the fish food. There's fish food all over the place. This poor fish has like a bajillion of them in there. We've got to fish out now. It is 6.30 p.m. and we just lost power. Wasn't quite to lose power this soon. It's not really even blowing too hard outside. So we weren't expecting to lose power just yet. Okay, so the electricity just kind of blinked, thankfully. We got power back on pretty quickly. It is 7.30 right now. The lights do keep blinking though, so 
It's only a matter of time. Are starting to progress. We keep getting like big gushes and we have tons of leaves just like all over the yard. Big old like chunks of branches coming off. So it's about to get real. Little video update here. It's about 7.30ish. Things are starting to gust pretty hard. We've got tons of fallen branches in the yard, but so far so good. Power keeps winking on and off, but as of right now, we do still have power. Knock on wood, that stays. Okay, so last, last minute storm prep. Got this giant tote tub thing and filled it with water. So if you're out of electricity for a couple of days, you can't flush the toilet and you need water to be able to do that. We have a swimming pool in the backyard, but we don't know if that's gonna like pop and lose water. So we have that in the bathtub full of water in case we need it to flush the toilet. We didn't wanna leave just the bathtubs filled because we have toddlers and that's a drowning hazard. So this at least has the top securely on it. So if we need water, we can get it and then put that back on. And then also master closet, we got our twin blow up mattress that we use for man cub. If we have grandparents over, he sleeps on this in Weezer's room. So this is shoved very, very tightly into my closet. I was happy he said I have too much stuff. You know what? It's a closet. <laughs> we usually aren't trying to sleep in here. And then we have her, it's like a unicorn sleeping mat thing and it has just like a bunch of pillow stuffed in it so they can huddle together on that hubby and i can huddle together on this probably with a kid in between us as well so we've all got kind of a space in the closet this is the innermost room in our house so we need to be able to like shut the door and shut ourselves in there if it takes a turn for the worse if there are tornado sightings anything like that power keeps blinking like crazy there's my reflection I'm tired. It is eight o'clock. We got the kids ready for bed. They're like wiped down. They're in the living room watching TV and hopefully they just pass out because we're probably not sleeping tonight. We also unplugged the computer tower and put it here because we have like everything on our hard drives, like pictures and videos and things like that. Went through and unplugged. This is where the computer tower normally lives. So we went through and we unplugged all the TVs, all the monitors, printer, literally unplugged every single TV and projector in the house except for this one TV that we still have going to keep these little turds entertained. Hopefully they will pass out soon and go to bed. So one last video. You can't really see a whole bunch before we hunker down. But trees are blowing. Like crazy. I am getting healthy with rain right now. So the kids finally fell asleep. There's the beams of this. I don't know how you can see. We went ahead. Oh, two. And put both of them in our bed. That way, if things get bad, like we never co sleep with them unless we're traveling, but things get bad, that way we can just grab them and run into the closet in our bathroom because. Their rooms are on the opposite side of the house. So see if you can see, this is our front porch. The wind is definitely starting to pick up a lot. Ooh, and there went the light. Okay, oh, see, it keeps flickering. So you literally just saw our power going out. Uh, I talked to my brother that lives like five-ish minutes down the road, their power's out for good. So I think you just saw the last little flare of our lights there. Oops, coming back. Nope, and on. Alright, so it's the morning after the hurricane. <laughs> that part of the fence didn't make it. All the rest of it did though. So funny enough, the gate, some of the boards are a little bit loose. That's not too bad. It's still blowing. So funny enough, that's not actually the part of the fence that 
hubby and I built because hubby and I built our fence both of us we had help from one of us friends we rented an auger and drilled all the holes and we used deck screws to put all of our fence boards up but this portion that fell the previous neighbors that lived there had put that fence up so yay hubby and I and our <laughs> fence building skills so we're gonna have to figure out how to put that portion back up but I couldn't film any of the actual hurricane last night because it was pitch dark outside but it was scary sounding hubby and I sat up for a good bit of the night in front of oh there he is good morning we sat in front of the window here and just watch this tree Girls, go pee. all night here's the way I designed it yeah all right so I lied this portion of our fence fell down but the rest of it survived so we've got a couple of fence panels we'll have to that's not our dog food so that blew in from oh, where the pool survives look at that little janky pool <laughs> it's full of leaves. <laughs> Get out of there, girl. I don't think the pool vacuum is going to be able to suck all those bad boys up. <laughs> still blowing. Skies are still pretty gray. But at least it stopped raining. It's still kind of misting. Clouds are moving pretty quick, too. So this is how windy it is tell by my hair. It's about to go. And a ponytail. It's majestic beast. And that is cool thing. So Hubby and I are out here drinking our cold brew coffees that are miraculously still a little bit cold. Listening to the radio. He stayed up listening to this all night. Most of the night. It's one of those, it's amazing. Powered by USB, it's a flashlight, it's a power bank. You can hand crank it if you need to. So they've woken up. The worst part about hurricane season and losing power is how, like, uh-uh, put that down, that's ick. That's an ick towel. Put it back down, that's what we clean the floor with. There you go, thank you is how nasty and, and stale the air can get. You being cute? Hi. Oh. Your toe? Oh. I don't know what you, I don't know what you want, baby. Yeah. But yeah, it's like it's actually cooler outside than it is inside. Inside it's just stagnant, not moving nasty air. Hi. At least for now the kids are keeping themselves entertained. It's only <laughs> 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> the dogs are doing it too now. Get her sack dog. <laughs> looking at him. Get her. Get her. <laughs> and then these over here. <laughs> Sweet, sweet. Rock a bye, baby, on the treetop. A bear. It's a bear. That's Baloo. So, just trying to keep ourselves entertained. It's only 10:30. So we've got a long day ahead of us. I am trying to color while they're leaving me alone. Got their colors out, and they colored for a hot minute. That's Baloo? Bear. You rocking them? A bear. Rock a bye, baby. No, it's a bear. It's a bear. It is about 11 o'clock, and we finally just got power back on. Kids are getting restless. Still no internet or self service. Man Cub is walking the bricks along the flower bed there. What you think, Sack Dog? Out here enjoying the 
nice breeze and not hot weather. I know it was a fussy caterpillar at school. Oh, caterpillar. There was a fuzzy caterpillar at school? Yeah. <laughs> Did he find a caterpillar? <laughs> it's a green one? <laughs> yeah. So I realized I ended the vlog a little bit abruptly. So I am adding this little time lapse we did with the GoPro of kind of the beginnings of the storm. We started filming this probably around six or so. They're kind of playing outside before it got rough. But I just wanted to come on and say that we got insanely lucky where we were. We didn't get a whole lot of it other than our fence blew over and we got a lot of wind and not even that much rain. So we lucked out in our area, New Orleans and Laplace and the Hammond area in Louisiana definitely were not as lucky as us. A lot of neighbors in the areas kind of surrounding our city also not as lucky as us as far as power outages and things like that. Um, a lot of people still don't have power in the area. My brother and my sister-in-law and my nephew actually came to our house last night to sleep. They'll probably be sleeping over again. I think they're going to be about three to five days without power. Um, I've been keeping in touch with my work people. Most of them don't have power as well. They're running on generators or just sucking it up and dealing with the power outages. It is heat advisory for the next several days. So South Louisiana, that means like 100 degree weather and no electricity, no AC. It's pretty rough. Um, like I said, Laplace, I think pretty much the entire city flooded. We flooded in 2016. It's not a good time at all, obviously, but it's pretty devastating. Grand Isle, most of it was destroyed. There, Most of the houses didn't make it out there. So all in all, we got very lucky with this hurricane. This is the first really big hurricane that's blown through our area since Gustav that has actually done some kind of damage to our area. So I just wanted to come on and say that we are in extremely lucky. We still don't have internet back on yet. We don't have Wi-Fi, but we have cell service restored. Like I said, our power came back on really quickly. Um, we were, So we weren't without for very long. And we've been kind of hosting family as needed that do not have power back on yet. So yeah, this is what it is like living in the South. Whenever hurricane season rolls through, some years you get lucky, some years you don't get as lucky and you just kind of hunker down and prepare the best that you can and deal with the catastrophic damages afterwards. But we're the lucky ones this time. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and we'll be putting out more videos as we can. Thank you.